Welcome to Vicky's 4-0 Drills. Let's dive in and get to work. All righty, gang. Today we're gonna be working on a little exercise that helps you know when to take the ball out of the air during a dink battle. So what we're gonna work on is in two different exercises, okay? That might give you a little bit different perspective of when to do it and when not to do it. So one of the things that is always highly recommended is that we have a real good athletic stance, right? We know we want to follow the ball down with our paddle, right? We want that paddle to be as close to the point of impact as possible. But here's a warning, because we have a tendency to want to always take things out of the air. Does anybody know what the advantage is of taking the ball out of the air? It actually gives your opponent less time to respond. So if they are off kilter a little bit and you can manage to take the ball out of the air and put it to their back foot or something, you now have an advantage over them, right? So you want to be able to do that. You want to be able to practice both forehand and backhand with this exercise. But my warning to you is leaning so far over that you're on the verge of stepping in the kitchen. So you want to be balanced. You want to be able to do your lateral moves, but know when to take it. Now, when you're hitting the ball, you don't want to be moving. You want to have planted feet, steady, slow movement upward, and have that paddle right underneath it and ready. You can even watch and see when those times are that you can have a little bit of extension on your arm. And, and utilize that. Here's something else that you're learning as you do this exercise, is when you have to pull back up, right? And you have your normal, regular stance. And the reason for that is the speed up. People are having a lot of success with speeding up right at people. You wanna be able to not always be down here. You're gonna get a speed up, you gotta be ready, right? So be careful of those times that you're finding yourself always down here. You want to make sure you come back to your regular position um, if you're finding that your opponent is doing a lot of speed ups. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on our first exercise. And I'm going to have two people on this side feed the ball to the other side and mix it up and feed the ball sometimes a little higher and a little deeper towards them. Now, don't be afraid that if it is a little uncomfortable and you're a little unsure and you still need to take that step back, okay? This is all part of playing at the net, okay? So just kind of mix up a little bit of how you're feeding, but make sure that you're feeding some to them. <laughs> make sure you're feeding some to them that they can take out of the air, okay? That's it. <clears throat> More often than not, too, that's it, Dave. You want to send it back. It's just a dink back into the kitchen. Keep yourself in the point. Good job, Rhonda. Make sure you get that paddle back in position. There you go, Dave. Good job. There you go, get a few deep. All righty, great job, guys. Okay, we're gonna take a little moment and we're gonna get ourselves set up for our second exercise. Okay, so our next exercise we're gonna do is called Protect the Castle. A lot of people know it as different names. We call it Protect the Castle and there's a lot of people who are familiar with it. But I will say there's a lot to be learned from this exercise and that is absolutely 
key when you're in a dink battle up at the net. And those are the times, again, when to take it out of the air, and I'm gonna protect my castle. You wanna be able to extend a little bit, but again, be safe on those times when you're taken out of the air. Absolutely, Dave is trying to knock the ball off of each one of your castles, and you're trying to, to knock all of his off. You keep track of how many. It is like a competitive game, but the bigger thing I want you to get out of it is when to let that ball bounce and when to take it out of the air. Now, if the ball comes back in this area here, between and back, that's when most people say to themselves, absolutely, I'm taking that out of the air, but do I wanna get jammed? That actually, if it's coming low enough and coming on a trajectory down, take your step back and dink it back in, okay? So there's a lot of little factors that go into this game, help you learn when to take that step back, when to take it out of the air, and how to stay very steady very focused. When I play this game, I usually focus on one ball at a time. And that always helps me too. So that's again, like focusing on where I want to place the ball in a dink battle. Okay? Alrighty, go ahead and just send them like a dink. <laughs> and you can't get a point on the first on the send off. <laughs> very nice, Tom. Stay focused on the ball and where you want to place it. And at the same time, watch how your opponent is sending the ball so that you have a little bit, and this is again, in a match, you want to be aware of how your opponent's paddle is pointing, right? It makes you focus on a lot of different things going on at this net. I got an extra ball if y'all need it. I don't want y'all chasing balls. I want you doing the exercise. There you go. Close, close. Focus in and watch. Watch where hers is going so that way if you can bend down and protect your castle. Here, Bruce. Thank you. Oh, you got him. Oh, look. It's this. Hey, Bruce. Thank you. Good job, Tom. Good job. Those are the ones that you want to absolutely, right there, send back to him. But aim it downward. Definitely those times that you want to take it out of the air. Very nice. You gotta pay attention to a lot of things in this exercise, that's right. Nice defense there. Uh -uh, I'm good. Very nice, guys, very nice. So this is an exercise that absolutely can help you learn those times that you want to take the ball out of the air versus when you want to let it bounce. You're looking at distance, you're looking at height, you're looking at the projection of where your opponent's paddle may be going. Um, and it also helps you be a little less unafraid to take that ball out of the air. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And remember, drill as much or more than you play and you will take your game to the next level.